Angie made an announcement yesterday about the music. She said it's not entertaining, it's a ministry. I wonder this morning when we were waiting for the I think that part of the entertainment is, is there and it brings forth the anointing as well. It's not one or the other, it's both and. I think Justin Bieber could benefit. <laughs> Last night at the healing service, you know, toward the end of it, I had a terrible pain in my toe. My right toe was really sore. And I was limping toward the end, probably not noticeable to any because it was so. <laughs> So after it was over, Rose and Cindy came down and they said, it's an ingrown toenail you have, that's what it is. So, um, what do you call it? Cindy was assigned to flip it. I think that they were looking for relics. Really. <laughs> experience but there's something always beyond you know I'm fond of saying you know God is something every day something more for us something more for me and something new and there's a sense of um, an earthquake on the mountain because there's a lot an awful lot that happens that's what I was trying to get across last night it's not beyond us you know that is hitting people individually you know and beginning to, to minister to you, I think it's not anything that I said or Father Bill or Monsignor, but it's the anointing, okay? It's that power anointing that comes upon you and you create the atmosphere. You create that so that, again, uh, when I looked this morning and I saw you dancing, there was a freedom. <coughs> it was a tremendous freedom and call it a, a holy freedom mm -hmm. and, and, and a sense of you know, being able to express that in dance, but also many of you have said, well, you know, this touched me, that touched me, but it is the Lord who touched you, and I guess the Lord touches us too, okay, because, it, it, you know, our church has to do an awful lot, okay, we're lacking in many, many aspects, you know, hopefully this new Pope, you know, if he talks with me, he'll get his act. <laughs> He's a Pope, and it's a, a, a new wind blowing. There's a new wind blowing. And I, I see something like Women's Christian Fellowship, not here, in, only in the San Diego area, but I know it's blossoming in, uh, in other areas. Um, and, uh, you know, that kind of scares me because there's a group in uh, Phoenix. I've been there about uh, you know, four or five, maybe six times, you know. Father, can you come to us? You go to Women's Christian Fellowship in San Diego all the time. Can you come here twice a year? Okay, that's all right. Now there's a group in Ventura saying, can you come here three times a year? You know, how long it takes. I was in Ventura a week ago, Monday. Okay. It, it takes two hours and 15 minutes to get up there. It's an, uh, about an hour and three quarters to get home. Because it's dark, nobody sees me. But it bears witness to what's in women's hearts to what God is doing with women, to what our church is doing with women, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and many times there is power in this group, you know. All you have to hear is the prayer and the praise and the anointing, okay? There are lives that are changed, things that would never have happened a year ago to some of you, now is happening, mm -hmm. you know. And what you do is you stand back and say, to God be the glory. Something that, again, um, 
is something not to be missed every year in this retreat. And that's why, again, I am blessed by it. I'm sure the other priests are blessed by it as well. Thank you. What more could I add to that? that was can I have a piece of that relic? <laughs> surrender the Blessed Mother, you know, you were pretty solemn because, you know, it was just Friday, you're coming in, and so it was the beginning. You, 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 Jesus was waiting for the knock. Wow! You open the door and you jump, you, you jump for joy. I mean, I mean there was some contortion that could only be from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Sunday than you were Friday. Mm -hmm. And this is not working. Yeah, we are instruments. Monsignor, myself, Father Bill, Father Mike, uh, Angie, and anyone else who is involved in leadership, we're instruments, but the power of God is there because, like Mother Mary, he said yes. And you can only say yes to God if you are in communion with God. You can only say yes to be here because you know the value. And now you're going to go back even more in rich. I feel for your husband. No, for me and seriously, I am so happy because I grow from this experience. Four years ago, I was one of those who would not sing a song. Oh, I, I, I would look at it and I'd say, well, I don't know why, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what they're saying. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm right. I didn't want to let go. I was trying to hang on and do things my way. I still have that problem. I'm, not, I'm still in process. I still have rough edges. So I need to come here more often. And I think you need the same because we're not finished. The good news is, and the bad news are the same. You need to finish when you die. So in the process, no. so keep coming until that day. You want to hear him say, well done, welcome sister, I've got a place for you. Somebody asked me, have you ever seen this dancing before? You know, that's, that was really nice. Actually, they, they do this in Kenya. <laughs> I was at the, uh, oh, it was right on the equator. As a matter of fact, they have, I went to the equator canteen <laughs> right there. And it was a university, I forget the name of the university, and they had masses. They, they start mass very early in Kenya, like I think the, the morning, the Sunday morning mass is at 7, then there's the next one at 9, and the last one is at 10. And the way they have mass is uh, the place is packed. Uh, packed. And then they have a ministry, it's called the Dancing Ministry. And they have about six people, uh, any six people, whoever's part of this dancing, and they go two by two down the center aisle. And they also become the Eucharistic ministers, and they become the readers. And it's just like a Catholic church here. <laughs> and they dance down the aisle. So what you were doing just reminded me of Kenya, very, very, very popular. Um, beautiful, too. So they have beautiful, beautiful liturgies over there. I really enjoyed my stay. Um, my only word for you today is uh, this is this whole weekend has been God's gift to you. And I can testify to that because I'm an outsider. I, I'm from the other side of the world. And I, when I came here on the airplane, I did not have my talk prepared yet. I was, uh, I was beginning my retreat. And I was going through a book, you know, the, uh, on the Eucharist and reflecting on that. 
and I was asking the Lord what it was I was supposed to say. I, I looked at my, my, my titles for the talks, I got those, and I saw some of the titles of the other talks, but I didn't know what to say. So all these ideas were going through my mind uh, on the plane. And then uh, when I was at Bernadette and Dave's house on, on Wednesday, uh, let's see, Thursday, I spent the day again in preparation and again, all these ideas and I was writing them down on the paper. And when I got here on Friday, almost all the ideas that had gone through my mind were, were either up on the screen <laughs> and um, they were in prophecies when you were prophesizing on, on uh, Thursday, let's see, Friday night and Saturday morning. I was listening to all the prophecies and I said, geez, this is like a repeat, you know, I, I've heard all this before. And so all the stuff that, that you've heard has been prepared by the Holy Spirit for you. And we're just the instruments, you know. This is what, what uh, Father, uh, Father Mike and Monsignor Fred sing. We're just the instruments. God pulled us and he's putting this stuff in our head to tell you this. So this is all part of God's gift for you. And um, God wants you to have this gift because he has many things in store for you. He has many things in store for you to do, to be. He has a great work for you. And this is your time on the mountaintop. So I say, God bless all of you. And thank you for all the good things that you're doing. You know, this is an incredibly valuable ministry in the eyes of God. And he has given you this. This is your gift. And so God bless you. And I, we wish you the very, very best in the days to come. And I hope to see you again next year. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb who was slain. You ascended to heaven and evermore will reign. At the end of the age, when the earth you would pray, you will gather the nations before you. And the eyes of all men will be fixed on the Lamb. And mercy and justice you'll reign at your father's side And the angels